Okay. Are we streaming? Let me check. Go to my smartphone. Audio check. Testing. I hear myself, but it sounds low. Might get a little feedback right there. I was turning up the volume on my phone. Uh, but according to the audio mixer, uh, my voice is about where it should be. Uh, but let me know. I can always uh, twiddle things, twiddle things, adjust things, uh, mess with the sliders for the game and the uh, microphone. Right now, you should not be hearing any game audio, though. There's no... Uh, I, I sort of taken back control of the, uh, the game audio, so you can just hear me talk through the opening announcements. But yeah, once we dive into the game, let me know. So welcome everyone. How are you doing? We are having spooky Saturdays. And uh, I'm looking forward to diving into this new game. Fears to Fathom Episode 3 Carson House. Real. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I hope that um, we do uh, have a good time with it today. I'm pretty sure we will. Um, this is, by the way, the very first uh, game stream directly from the Steam Deck. So this is probably the last time I'm going to make this announcement on the stream unless I'm asked about it. But, um... There we go. Okay. Um, but yes, this is the very first time I'm streaming directly from the Steam Deck. So I had a hard drive, or a hard drive. I had a, a desktop computer and the hard drive crashed on it. And uh, I tried tinkering with it. I tried fixing it. Didn't quite, I uh, wasn't able to really replace it. And uh, so I do have a Valve Steam Deck. I thought, well, maybe I can hook that up and use that instead. And yeah, that's become my main computer now. It's become my new computer. And uh, it's a lot faster, a lot stronger. Um, I have used it for game streams before, but before I ran it through a capture card into my desktop computer, and it was my desktop computer that was streaming the gameplay from the Steam Deck. Since I can no longer use my desktop, uh, I installed a version of OBS Studio on the Steam Deck, and so the game is streaming directly from the Steam Deck itself. So this definitely opens up some, some new possibilities, um, but also it, it has provided some, some new challenges, which I hope are very minor. Uh, for the most part, it's been a, an absolute dream using this deck as my new main computer. Um, but things do have to be set up again as far as like audio and, and visuals or video goes. Uh, so again, let me know if anything is, is off. But yeah. Uh, today's stream is going to be the first game stream directly from the Steam Deck, so I am I'm pretty excited about that, and I uh, hope it goes well. But let's get into our opening announcements, and uh, then we'll dive into the game. So for those who do not know, welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Lord Orpheo. I'm a variety streamer on Twitch, and I'm also a YouTuber. And uh, I transfer content about one week after stream onto the YouTube channel. So if you miss anything and the VOD's not there or you want to see our archive of footage, you're more than welcome to check that out. I stream a little something different every day of the week for now. And I do that uh, for two reasons. One, I know that not every person is interested in every game or game genre. So I try to vary my content to appeal to a more varied state. And two, doing so helps to prevent me from getting burnt out on any genre. So it's kind of... So to that end, I... I've created various what I call stream themes throughout the week. 
And so on Mondays, we have Monday Marvels, and for Monday Marvels, we can stream any game from any genre, but no horror and no role-playing game. Value those game genres here, but they actually have their own specific stream days set aside for them. What we're doing today. Wipe my glasses a bit. Um, also, the game we stream on Mondays cannot be part of a series. Due to this, we typically stream indie games on Mondays. Uh, Tuesdays, I take the day off. Wednesday, in the Discord channel, we have anime afternoons. And so if you like watching anime, come join us then. And we typically screen through two episodes from a given series. And then afterwards on Twitch, we have our weekly Just Chatting stream called Community Chat and Gaming News, during which we go through community updates, gaming news, and game releases for the week. Thursday are our RP afternoons. And uh, it's a lot of R sounds right there, back to back. Uh, so if you like role-playing games, that is the day for you. And we have Franchise Fridays, which is very similar to Mondays, in that we can stream any game from any genre. But again, no horror and no role-playing. Uh, but unlike Mondays, the game we stream on Fridays must be part of a series. Hence the name, Franchise Fridays. Due to this, we typically stream AAA games for Fridays. Saturdays, today, are spooky Saturdays. And so if you do like horror games and all things creepy, today is your day. And Sunday, I take the day off as well. So if any of those stream themes are of interest to you, then I encourage you to drop me a follow. And I hope to see you someday during the week. And with our opening announcements now out of the way, let us return to the stream of the day. Oh, one There we go. Let us return to the stream of the day. So, again, we are here for Spooky Saturdays, and this is Fears to Fathom, Episode 3, Parson House, from Rail. I think it's pronounced Rail. It's R-A-Y-L-L. Rail. Well, if I, if I mispronounced it, then I apologize to the developer. Let's see, we have Ratika is here. Ratika says it's great. Thank you, Ratika. And J Dog is also here. Hello, J Dog. Welcome, welcome. How are you two doing today? Oh, that's it. You can't see it, but I have several icons on the bottom of my Steam Deck on the taskbar. And I'm like, where, which one of these icons is the game? And there's just a black square with purple letters that says F to F. And I'm like, F to F, it's Fierce to Fathom. All right. Here we go. You can also see my, my mouse cursor. Yes, I have keyboard and mouse picked up. Now I think you might be getting audio since I toggled back to the game. Uh, it shouldn't be loud, though. All right, let me pop in my earbuds. Okay. I always like to go through the options first. Ooh, it's a fancy transit. All right, ultra, extra full res, FPS counter. I don't care about that window. No, desync. Yeah, why not? Leave it up. Okay. You're good? That's good, Ritika. Good. Can you hear the game? Yes, good, good. All right, episodes. So, so far, it looks like they have... I don't know if they have, like, five... If this is going to be a quintology of separate stories, or if, like, an after these five games, they're going to have, like, a Fears to Fathom 2, episodes 1 through 5, or if they're just going to keep going down the list. But uh, so far, we have streamed episode 1, Home Alone, and episode 2, Norwood Hitchhike, was two weeks ago. So today is Carson House. 
Uh, I have already wishlisted episode four, Iron Bark Lookout. That looks like it's going to be interesting. Um, and that's supposed to come out, I think it's November of this year. So we shall, uh, we shall probably scoop that up once it comes out. But here you have the synopsis for episode three, Carson House. Here's to Fathom is an episodic psychological horror game where each episode unveils a short story narrated by the ones who survive. If you are playing episode three, more episodes are coming soon. Episode playtime, roughly one hour. So these games have typically taken us between like one to three hours, so we'll see. Um, as far as what this specific episode is about. By the way, I just learned how to alt tab for the first time earlier today. <laughs> I was messing around with something in uh, in Discord, and someone's like, "Why don't you just Alt Tab to the this other program?" And I'm like, "What's Alt Tab?" Like I, I had to hold on the button. I'm like, oh, that's the thing. Okay, cool. Yes, you can hear the game. Good, good. All right. So, episode three, Carson House says Noah Baker, an 18-year-old high schooler, experiences unsettling occurrences while house sitting for a media personality. Little did he know what he was about, or little did he know what was about to unfold that night. All right. Go into it. Carson House. New game. September 24th. My name is Noah. I'm a 28-year-old male from the Midwest. Oh, press any key. Since I started using mouse, I wonder if I can go back to using controller. Ooh, I can. Very nice. I have no idea why I am sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18. But I remember this incident like yesterday, as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and it needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me a hundred dollars just to wash the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. Rail, I'm very impressed. They have really uh, stepped their game up in terms of graphics. And I'm not saying the graphics in their other games are bad, but like if you compare this to like the graphics from the last game we played, Norwood Hitchhike, like Norwood Hitch like Hitchhike looks like it was a game almost like a launch, a 3D launch game on the PlayStation One. Like, it was, it was kind of rough. This game, I don't know. I, I would say this game kind of looks like a really, really rough PlayStation 2 game. Which is, as a compliment, a step up. I'm very impressed so far. Okay. Looks like we're in a laundromat, building emergencies. I don't know why everything's blurry, though. I mean, maybe it's just, like, really, like, I don't know. There's a lot of moisture in the air because we're in a laundromat, so it's, like, really humid. That could be it. Got some heavy rain going on outside. Oh, can we play the arcade game? What is it called? 
It's just really bright, too. Why is all this so weird? There. Nah, we'll go with it. Can I play? I'm gonna try to play the arcade game. Three dots, I guess, in ellipses. I guess I can't play it. Super boy. Aww. Oh, I hear my footsteps. Oh, that hurts. They're completely out of snacks. That's rough. That's rough. I feel like this is going to go one of two ways, but I don't know. After reading the um, the description, I feel like I'm probably wrong. So when it says you're house sitting for a media personality, to me, I'm thinking um, that either the media personality is going to set you up on a prank, like maybe you're going to be at their house and um, they're going to like send people there to mess with you and record it for like a, a TV show, or um, the media person is going to have like a creepy stalker. Like, I think it's, I feel like it's going to be one of those two. But I don't know, after reading the description, like, I mean, it's the COO of a company. It's not like it's an actor or an actress or anything, so that makes me think different. Make a change. I guess our first task is to do laundry. Are we doing our laundry? Our house sitting for the weekend. The guy is having us do his laundry? Kinda weird. It's a chore. Ah, from here. Guess they're closed. Private. Hour. Got a magazine. Read the magazine. Can I... What does that say? I can't see it. It's too blurry. I thought at first I thought it said Norwood Hitchhike. Or Hitchhike. I thought that was an homage to the second game. Last game. Curious. Notice employees only. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not going to do that yet, though. I turn the power or the lights on and off? No. I feel like we're either supposed to mess with other doors. I don't know. What if I try to walk outside? It's not letting me. Okay. The rain is really well done. I will say that. It sounds good. It looks good. The sound of the rain is totally overshadowing the, the creepy music, I think. The atmosphere is trying to uh, be produced by. Please empty your pockets of all belongings or use a machine. Possible for lost or article. Alright, let's use a bathroom. Oh, I can't use a bathroom? Okay, so they're really trying to funnel you into just one direction. You do have to go. I guess we're playing a mischievous character here. Notice employees only. Wah ha ha Down here. I'm guessing this is like the... The uh, heck? I would have thought this is like the maintenance area. Oh, he must be having a nightmare. That's what's going on. Wow. Nightmare location is the laundromat. Nightmares of the laundromat. I sympathize. You know you're going to be stuck at that location for hours. Shift print. Oh, so we're supposed to run. You see something. Okay, so. 
automatically on a DualShock 4 controller that's set to um, L3. We're probably going to keep walking down this way. We're going to start getting chased, turn around, sprint for the door, and it's going to get us right before we go. This music is familiar, though. I don't know if I heard this from the trailer or if I remember this from a previous game. I have so many flies. Ooh, just I'm gonna throw you some stinky gym socks going on. Am I getting further from the I am getting further from the okay. I don't wanna sprint past all this stuff, I wanna Take it in. Free soda? Not free soda. I got someone here. Leech? What? Excuse me? Oh, it's R3 that's you initiate conversation. He's asking me for bleach. What? Where do you put it? Where are you? There is bleach. The bleach. Uh, well, I know what he's talking to me. Asking for bleach. The laundromat. What even is this place? Who are you? For that one. I said I need bleach. Alright, alright. What can I create it? Noah? Noah? There's probably someone trying to wake us up. Not time's over. We're here. You're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Oh, wake up. Oh, there's like a little loading bar in the bottom. Oh. Do you still think you can do this? did I doze off for? Doesn't matter. You do this now? I got it. Roy called and said the keys should be under the fake rock. Got it. He said it's in the backyard. Like I said, keep the doors locked. Don't open the door for anyone. Already the first time, Ed. Okay. Get your butt to work. Up you know I'm only in it. Snacks. We have snacks too. I wonder how I access the map. No. I can zoom in. Oh, is it? Ah, no, that's... Evelyn Cooper. Got a full conversation going on. Full of, full of buttholes. I know, right? I don't think you're a butthole. I don't think you're either. I... Uh, improper grammar. Let me call you in a bit. I really wish you could come tonight. Do things you do, old man. No, I haven't been a good kid to him. Aw, your dad doesn't think a good kid. I don't even want what mine thinks about me. R O F L. I just think I'm really disappointed him with Ara. 
Kara. Not again, Nova. I'm just not beating myself up about it. Wait, did that call you again? You're just oh, it's still so stupid. It wasn't your fault, period. Anyways, got some making up to do here. A grudge next weekend? 100%. This little baby. Kitty. I'm honestly jealous of Ava, RFL. Oh, right? Just had this weirdish dream. Uh, this button. I was testing the different button functions of the controller. Alright, alright. Can I talk to him again? Oh, I can't. You need anything else from me? Not really. Alright then. What are you waiting for? Bam. Oh, I can't just like... I guess I just can't, like, click on the door to open it. Okay, what about... Oh, that's right. I was going to go and reassign buttons on the controller, but you can't do that because we're not in game mode. We're in desktop mode. What if I do... This. Ah. Oh. I have access to the uh, keypad, the mouse, and the controller all at the same time. by a car. Oh! There are other reasons I could have died that night. <laughs> Ooh, spooky street. Oh, I can't step on the sidewalk. I couldn't just leave like that. I'm curious. I'm curious. Uh, it's probably going to have the same reaction no matter where we go. neighborhood. It does look like a nice doesn't it? The guy left all his lights on. I guess he didn't tell his neighbors that he's not going to be here for the weekend. He kept all his lights on. It seemed like people hope. I had to get key from the backyard. I was going to see if I could use the mouse as, like, the map, the map notebook, but I, uh, can't do that. Albatrax is here! Hello, Albatrax! How are you doing? sitting for this person, Albatrax. We're giving it a for a young 18-year-old kid for being paid a hundred bucks. House sit for the weekend. And uh, we figured we could use the cash. No one else is going to be here. The owner is going to be away, so we can just do our, our school homework. Kind of focus on that. Watch TV. And, uh, yeah, make a quick hundred bucks. Oh. 
he was left for us under a rock in the backyard. So we are trying to look for that now. What was that like creepy music? Maybe like we'll go to make a snack or something in the kitchen and we'll like see uh, someone walk across the backyard. This a gardening shovel. Good dog, good home. Aww. Oh, so they have a dog? Bake rock was by the old dog house. This is like the third door we've clicked on. It's like, okay, this person needs help. So we'll go to the dog house. There. Ooh, it's a nice little pool there. Does it have water in it? Oh, it does. I got a little wet. <laughs> Welcome back, Ratika. Oh, they do have a doggy. Oh, you do cute. LMB to pat. I don't know what that means. Aww. What's oh, not even on a leash? He's a good boy. Yes, you are. He is cool. He's a cute little girl. Little, little. His name is Boy. Where are you going? Oh, I guess it was bothering him. He's like, leave me alone, I'm trying to sleep. Also, it doesn't seem like you can crouch. Which I means you probably don't need to crouch, but... I feel like that might help me find the rock. That's the new doghouse because he was sleeping right there. His bed is now. So that must be the old doghouse. Okay, so there's a rock. Oh, this, this is it. This is. Oh, I see. So it's a circular cursor, and every time you move the cursor over something, you can interact with a dot appear. I got you. I got you. Fake rock key. I wonder if people still use those. Fog snores. Now this has always irked me about these games, about the Fierce to Fathom games, I had to pee, um, is that, like, you open the door, you let yourself in, but I'm never sure if you lock the door, like, there's never a command to lock or unlock doors. So, I'm, I sort of make the assumption that we lock the door, but I mean, I don't know for sure. Whoa, what happened here? Look at all this mess. I really had to pee. Basement. Bathroom. Do not disturb for any reason. There's a film studio in here. Oh, is he a streamer? Oh, that's cool. The guy we're housing you for is a streamer. That is a big phone. The phone is bigger than the picture. Look at that. Left mouse button. Oh, thank you. 
which gives us a downloaded Path of Exile. Might play it in the future. It looks good. I added that to my Steam library. I think it actually is playable on Steam. Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. It's a gigantic phone. Oh, that's the front door. The back? Maybe that's the guy we're house sitting for. I mean, it's one of these two doors. Oh, I see, I see. It's not that he wants to keep the studio hidden. It's that he doesn't want anyone walking through that door because that would disturb or potentially disturb the recording he has going on, either video or audio. I got it. Um, this door? Oh, well, is this a light switch? Can I turn the lights on? The lights are right. Rail was too lazy to model the garage. Oh, that's funny. Rail's the name of the developer. So are you telling me in this two-story house, there's no bathroom on the first floor? Is that what you're telling me? I have never heard of a two-story house in which there is only one bathroom on the second floor of the house. Oh, well, maybe you had the house like custom built that way, I don't know. Let's go upstairs then. I realized the house was way bigger than ours. It's a bedroom. Found the bathroom! But I'm kind of curious. I want to look around some more. Okay. Storage closet or storage area. My Carson's bedroom had this weird smell of wet clothes. The guy walked into the swimming pool like we did. And open it from there. Okay, so this is like a laundry room slash Washer? Oh, there's like a shelf in the way of the door. That's why we couldn't open it. Oh, this is his office. His computer there and everything. Cool. Mr. Carson's office looks like a good spot I could sit down to work at. I feel like the game's skipping ahead. A little bit. But let's go to the bathroom. He really has to. I'm curious about this though. Over here. I don't know what this is. Oh, maybe he has like a nice walk-in closet. I'm guessing nothing scary is going to happen. To me. Like the music is building it up into something scary, but we're supposed to be house sitting for the whole weekend. I'm guessing this is like Friday night. We still have all of Saturday and all of Sunday to go. Oh, I could be wrong. Okay. We're in the bathroom. Bathroom. Is the door open over there? Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm, I'm aiming it. 
I can aim the stream. That's interesting. That was actually kind of fun. Can I do it again? I was done with it. I guess not. <laughs> Text message. Hold on, I need to flush the toilet. Can you pee on the floor? Maybe, but I would have felt bad. All right. Toilet flush. Let's see if we can wash our hands. No, we cannot wash our hands. I guess we don't need to wash our hands. Our urine is completely sterile. It's, um going here. Okay. Let us read our message. Uh, thanks for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early. Mr. Carson? My bad. It's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Haha. -ha. My dad. Reader achievement. Read the chats. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke? Oh, that's probably the name of his dog. Boy's been a little sick lately. Aww. Oh, I'll take care of him and the house now that I'm here. You have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. So, I'm guessing Evelyn Cooper is like, I don't know if that's his friend or if that's his girlfriend. I don't have enough context. It seems like they, they're a little romantic with each other. Roy Carson. Oh, Carson House. This is the person whose house was made to watch. Uh, you're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you it's his dinner time. If you could get him his dog food from the basement, ride on it. Ritiga says, I really want to get into FF14 someday. Oh. I'll need to buy a game, or I'll need to buy game time a month. Or you'll need to buy the game sometime this month. I gotcha, I gotcha. Isn't Final Fantasy... I don't know if it's Final Fantasy 11 or Final Fantasy 14, but... Can't you, uh, like, download and install, like, the base game for free and play it up to a certain point for free? So, instead of buying it, if that if it has that option, you can just do that and see if you like it. And then if you do like it, then you can buy it. I always recommend to try before you buy, if possible. Well, if you've never bought the game. Right. Well, have you bought the game? Okay. Controls are very responsive. Let's go get Doggy some food. Ooh, the basement. I will say though, his kitchen is kind of messy. This is the, this is the dining area.
this here. What is this mess right here? It looks like this is his garbage bin. And like Mr. Carson, like maybe he was in a rush for work. So he pulled the bag up and maybe it had like a, a hole ripped in the bottom and stuff started spilling out. And then he put it like back in here and just went to go empty the whole thing out. Came back and didn't clean this up because he had to rush off to work. That's what it looks like. Is there anything to break? I probably shouldn't eat his food, though. I feel bad about this. I just scared. Uh, that's right. Basement. Doggy food. Okay. Basement. I think this is it. There we go. The basement was a little too far. I don't know what that means. Light's already on. Text message. Almost forgot. I apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. No problem. All right. Flashlight in storage room upstairs. Gotcha. It says, yes, you bought the game back in 20, or you played the game back in 2016. You got to play around six hours because of life's problems as a teen, so I never got back into it. Okay. Do you think you'll resume your character, or do you think you'll create a new character? Because that's a long time ago. That's, what is that? 2016, four, three, seven, seven years ago? Create new. What is it doing? Storage, flashlight. Okay, that's that way. The bedroom. He has two bedrooms, that's pretty nice. The master bedroom and like the guest bedroom. Okay. There's no light in the storage room. I thought so. There is a crouch button. It's C. Oh, that's the flashlight. I didn't even know what that was. The guy wrote his name on the flashlight. How would I throw the flashlight? Like, even if he saw an intruder, I still wouldn't throw the flashlight. I would just try to run. What happens if someone tries to be creepy and they put the power to the house? Back to the basement. I had to get back. There's. I think it's. There we go. All right. Where's the doggy chow? Carson. You get lights installed here. I'm expecting like a, a huge bag of dog food leaning up against a wall somewhere. 
I mean, it could just be like a tin. I don't see any dog food here. Wait, is this it? No, because the mouse which or the cursor which is dog food. But over here. Dog food? Oh. I Oh, I think I can see dog faces on here. Hold on. Okay, so this is these are the cans of dog food. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm guessing we have to take this to the kitchen to open the can. Can opener. Is a can opener. The bottle's just sitting around, too. He's a messy person. Trash on the floor, a bunch of drinking bottles out. You get this table and scoot that against the wall and then put a separate bin right there in the space that would be freed up. And use one for trash and one for recyclables. Uh, and opener. Oh, wait. This thing. I was looking for a mechanical can opener. Oh, my hands are full. Um, I don't want to throw it, though. Can I just put it down? I guess not. Oh, that works. Yeah. All right. Uh, right mouse button. Yeah. Hey. That back down. Grab our doggy chow. Flashlight back on. And return to the backyard. Give him some. I wonder what he means by he wouldn't have got a house sitter had it not been for his sick dog. Like, even if your dog is healthy, wouldn't someone still have to come here and feed him? During the, like, three nights that you're not going to be here? Oh, there is a bathroom downstairs. I totally missed that. Okay, so how do I get back to the backyard? Well, this is the front door. Right? This is the front door? Or is this the back door? Oh, this is the back door. Oh, there's your dog hole. Look at that. The guy gets the... Mr. Carson gets the can of dog food. He flips it in the bowl, and he just leaves the can there. Maybe the dog likes to lift the can. All right, there's the food. And already poured. Yes, we did. He's going... Watch him eat the dog food. Aww. He said, 
I let him eat. Hey kid, I heard from Walter your computer was, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately. My whole security system is tied to it. Oh yeah, you got a whole security system set up here? That's adults for you. They just assume all young people are experts with computers. I'll let the dog eat in peace. Throw this away. I can't get closer. What? Okay, see, now I see why that this floor is messy. It's it's like a challenge. Like, it should be an achievement to, to throw garbage away properly in this house. There we go. <laughs> Alright, flashlight off. I have a lot of expensive equipment laying around. Don't want anything happening to it. Yeah, I understand. I'll just take a look at your computer. Thanks, kid. All right, so we saw his computer room before, I think. I think it's downstairs. Through... Actually, I don't know. I don't know. No, that's his recording studio. Hail Carson 5387. Oh, that must be like the password to get into his system. I do want to see what's in here. He knows he. a separate laptop. I didn't think he was talking about that. I think it's off the stairs. I think this is a bedroom, right? Yeah, I think this is... I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is a guest bedroom or the master bedroom. Like, this looks like a much bigger bedroom than the other room. But it has a small bed. Compared to the other bedroom. Why would you not put the big bed in the big bedroom? I don't get that. See, that bed looks a lot bigger. But this is like... It's a lot smaller than the other room. Well, it is divided into two segments. I guess that's something. Like, he has his own... I don't know what to do. Closet. Next like storage area. Eh, whatever. Alright. Oh, that's right. This is the studio. Look at that, more trash on the floor. A gallon of milk? Or car that looks like a carton of milk. This is a weird guy. He does not clean up after himself at all. Okay. His office. He needs to work on lighting, like, across the board. There's only one light here mounted on the wall. There's nothing on the ceiling. ever going to get the chance to do our homework. Oh, he does have a lot of expensive equipment, yeah. Multiple laptops? Alright, let's see what he's got going on here. 
I remember I was doing calculus that night. Ooh. I did have schoolwork to do, but I wasn't feeling it at the time. I know that feeling. And I gotta get some stuff done. I really want to go. All right. Rainbow that OS. Type your password. Oh, do I actually have to type the password? You forget your password? Al Carson five three eight seven. Okay. I actually do have to type the password. That's pretty cool. I just forgot the password again. Was it 587? Five, 5387. I'm going to have to type that in the chat. Otherwise, I'm not going to remember it. I also don't know if it has to be, like, I don't know if it's case sensitive either. Hail Carson. Ah, oh, thank you, Atika. Okay. Carson. Five three eight seven. Yay! Oh, it's like we're using a real computer. I like this. Okay, so I'm guessing that's a security system. I'm gonna mess with this last. Because I feel like that's when the spooks are gonna start to happen. We're gonna like see people through security cameras around the house. Oh, he has stuff in the recycle bin. This. Guide to being a store. This. Test one unknown file type. I can use that then, aren't Guide to being a better person. Talk and talk. Directed by Alec Carson. Oh, he made this video. In this video, we will be covering how to talk like a better person. Feel free to take a break whenever you need. Step one, don't be rude. That's good advice. Oh, I guess that's him. Sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the broadcast. In the meantime, enjoy some happy images. Got a good beat though. No, oh, he is a dog lover. Step two, remain calm in any conversation. Hello. Now, even though he said controversial, did you stay calm? What? The secret to being calm is to not let your feelings interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. That's all we have for today. weird. You had the same face as me? Yeah. <sighs> you know what? It's just, uh, oh no. I can't, I can't put it back in. No. 
I was trying to drag it back to the recycle bin, but I can't do that. And I can't right click it either. Like select it, put it in the recycle bin. Well, whatever. He's gonna come back and see that we were watching his video. Guess the flag. Fatal error. The system has encountered a critical error. Okay. Oh, does he have a stub set up for single click? He does. Okay. My father had that with his computer. He disabled double click, so you just had to single stuff to launch it. Um. Oh, error. Free trial for limited period. Protect your computer as if it was one of your own. Your children catch colds. Your computer catches viruses. It's full protection. Antivirus 96. Uh, I guess that's what we're supposed to be. Sure. Download now. I'm sure if you have a problem on your computer, the first thing you should do is go to Google and you should just click on any ad asking you to download their antivirus software. Welcome to Antivirus 96. Virus definition up to date. Malware protection on. Firewall on. Perform full scan. I wish antivirus software was this fast. Security threat, erosion, ask something, risk high, okay, well, threats not removed, remove them. All threats removed. You're protected. Close. Well, Mr. Carson. What's up, Mr. Carson? I don't want to read eh, message yet. I want to try something. Can we search for stuff? What happens if we try to search for something? Let's try to search for fears to fathom. I wonder if it'll actually like use a real web browser. Here's to fathom. Oh, you can't use it. You can't search. Feeling unlucky. So it's only it's only operational just to download the uh, software. Fine, fine. Um. Oh, the tab stays open. The program won't close. That's weird. Whatever. The start button doesn't work. Fill in air. Maybe you have to reboot. What does the egg do? The program can't start because something is missing from your computer. Try reinstalling the program to fix this problem. That was weird. That does have some computer issues. Yours is? Well, if it's in quick scan. Gonna go play more Deep Rock Galactic? All right, Ritika, have fun. All right, let's see what our new messages say. Oh, there's the security footage. It's like uh, the camera's uh, on in the basement. It's got night vision cam. All right, uh, Carson said, let's see, it's done. It was just some Trojan. I'd recommend you only download software from trusted websites. Tell that to my kid. Oh, he's got a kid, but thanks. 
I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. So I guess he's traveling with his son then. And Evelyn messages us. Ooh, what was it about? Oh, referring to our dream. Weird reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on Channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on right now. You gotta watch it with me. Wait, that place got a TV? Uh-huh, yeah, hold on. Okay. Well, all right, let's let's do the security cam. Camera one. Okay. Pretty neat. Can I move the camera? I cannot. Fixed. Oh, RMB right bumper night mode. Or right mouse button, I mean. Oh, that's cool. That is so cool. I like that. I like it a lot. Oh, he's still eating his food. I guess we'll go downstairs to watch TV. about the mental and stability of milk. Jeffrey and Evelyn. To start, we poured the milk into the glass. Next, we dip the cardboard into the milk. Cardboard dipped in milk? Look at that. Doesn't that just look nice? Okay, now that the cat food is finished right. cooking, we can finally serve it. 
this looks amazing. Time okay. Roy says, also, I think you should get the groceries before it gets too dark outside. There's some cash in my nightstand. Don't have hands. Groceries. I'll give you hands. Uh, grocery list. Got too many hands to ranch. Handle. Just like I'll ranch dressing. It. Strawberry jelly. Got the best hands. Taco spread for I'll Alec. Highest quality hands for you. Oh, Alec must be the name of his kid. Got too many Milk fingers. and eggs. It garden I'll peas. It honey. Not fingers? I'll give me. you more fingers. Rice. People Uncle Tony's own hands. Hands. Ketchup. Great. And don't I forget so milk and eggs. Much hands. He really loves those milk and eggs. Right. I'll sell you good quality oh, I'm on it, Mr. Carson. Come on down today to buy some hands. I have nice uh, hands. I'm sorry, Eve. I think I gotta run. Stew's on my butt right now. Kind of disrespectful. Buy some Wants hands. me to get groceries in the middle of the night. Hands. Yeah, that is really weird, though. I'll give oh, you but hands. you're missing the best part. Got too many hands I don't think this show has any best part. I'll this is a bad you. show. I got the best hands. Only the highest quality hands for you. And merchants is many so fingers. weird. Yeah, Evelyn I'll has really weird things. Not enough fingers? I'll give and you Fusion is here. Fingers. Hello, Fusion. People How are you doing? Hands. Welcome, welcome. They're great. Fusion says, I is here so and has redeemed. Hands. Hello, Amazing I'm using hands. Welcome. I'll sell you Austria. good quality hands. For the very first time. Down today to buy yeah. some hands. And nice he's also redeemed hydrate very well. Here's Fusion. Hello, I'm the hand merchant. Buy some hands. Don't have hands? I'll give you hands. Got too many hands to handle? I'll take them. I got the best hands. Only the highest quality hands for you. Yeah, let's get up. Got too many fingers. Turn that off. All right. So let's go grocery shopping. First, we need to go get some cash from the nightstand. Would that be in his bedroom? Flashlight on. Oh, which? Oh, the, oh, this is his kid's bedroom. Okay. Then money wouldn't be in this room. Kid just left a blanket on the floor. How young is the kid? How are you doing, Fusion? What are you up to today? Ridiculous says, okay, I came back. What happened to the game? I thought you were going to go play some, some Deep Rock Galactic. This. Lotion. What? I don't want to throw it. I wish it would give me like an option to like not throw stuff. Oh, it's soap. Soap. Willow paper. That. I don't know what that is. He's been feeling sick too. Fusion says, just got on Rocket League to check something, but got off. Okay. Quite sunny outside. Well, for this time of day, but I do hear thunder. So, rain goes down. That's why this is the the stormy season here in Florida. Ridiculous says in a moment, but I want to see what happens in this game. Okay. Well, right now we're supposed to be getting some money from the nightstand uh, in order to do some grocery shopping for this guy. I don't know where the nightstand is. Let me recheck the text message. Maybe I misunderstood something. Okay. There's some cash in my nightstand. But it says. When I think of nightstand, I think of like the the cabinet near your bed. Okay, is it a nightstand? 
Ah, that is a nightstand. Okay. Uh... How much is that? Is that a hundred dollar bill? You just keep a hundred dollar bill just lying casually in your nightstand? I see rolls like that. Okay. Fusion says, is it just me or does Orko's posture take AKA K and what's K and M? Oh, that you're using keyboard and mouse? I am. Well, I am and I'm not. I'm using all three methods. So when I'm walking around controlling the flashlight, I am using my DualShock 4 controller. But for commands like F to use and G to throw, I'm just using the keyboard for that. And uh, earlier I was using the mouse to do something, uh, something else. For your trouble, get something for yourself as well. It's on the house. How am I supposed to get to the grocery store, though? You can take Alex's bike. It's outside the garage. Oh, okay. Listen to how threatening this music sounds. If you were to, like, disable the music, this would be, like, a very calm game. Because nothing really spooky has happened yet. Oh, I actually control the bike. I thought I was going to click on the bike and it was going to, like, fast travel me to the grocery store. Okay. Go. No. What, what is this? Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out how to steer the bike. Um... I don't know how to get to the grocery store, though. Okay, so let's go this way. Oh, there we go. I guess that's all I had to do. Nine twenty-two at night. I don't understand why we're doing this, though. Like, if the guy's gonna be away for the whole weekend, right, and we're house-sitting for the whole weekend, why is he having us go grocery shopping now? Why not just wait till tomorrow when it's gonna be sunny out? No, the grocery- you have to buy the groceries tonight. Even though I'm not going to be there for another two days, I have to be there tonight and go shopping too. It's like a weird town where all the shops are going to be closed tomorrow. This. Hickory Brothers Plumbing and. Can I go in here? Talk to people? Mm -hmm. Hey, son. You work here? Mm -hmm. Possibly. Why? Mm -hmm. I'm looking for mustard. My son likes mustard, but I can't find it for the life of me. Here it is. Let me get it for you, ma'am. Aw, oh, how nice of you. I'll be right over here. Alright, 
right, let's go find her some mustard. You're on a side quest. Let's see here. Mustard. Mustard. Hmm? Evelyn, what are you doing? Shopping, you know I'm shopping. Rice. Vegetables. Big beans. Oh, oh. Speak of the devil. Earn her an Andy? Bro, your girl was here. She just left. talking about what was her name Ara or something dude I said they're not dating it oh that's our ex I guess Ara oh yeah hop to that other chick so quick I didn't even realize don't listen dude they bought tons and tons of cans I think she's throwing like a party or something. You wanna know anything about it? Oh, she looks way older without the makeup. Oh, energy there. Okay. Ew. I think she's more of like a girl. Guy's done. Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? I was sitting for this guy. Arson tonight. You mean an Alex? He goes to school with my sister. Her kid's a real weirdo. Especially since the parents split up. Whatever fills my pockets, I'm in for. Alright, dude. Go to school on Monday, then. Be around, Andy. Back in high school, Turner was the class clown. He was also very popular for his douchebag pranks he'd pull on other kids. Low key, I didn't like the guy. I didn't hate him either. He just never shared the vibe. I might come back and talk to them. Taco cops. I want to find our mustard first. Oh, okay, here we go. Honey, ranch, ketchup, bread, some hot sauce. Is that down there mustard? Might be. I can't tell. It's yellow. she go? I mean, I guess if we try giving it to her and she's like, oh, it is mustard. The containers look the same. Okay. I guess that's their overflow aisle or shelf. Hear her singing. There she is. Very well. There it is. Ah, give mustard. Thank you, son. Ah, achievement earned. Helper, help old lady in the store. Aw. That's a lot of mustard. Probably save a lot of money by buying it. Oh. I can talk to this guy. Hi, you doing good? Doing good. You? Doing good? It's a shopping basket. Oh, I didn't think about that. Good idea. Boys only. Private. Oh, I don't have the option of... Again. Talk to some more people. We have some more side quests here. 
No, just not. Oh, she was the one humming. Talk to these guys again. How's it going with the new chick, by the way? What are you talking about? Oh, probably Eve. Eve? Yeah, the quiet girl. Pretty good. All right, good talk, bro. <laughs> that was that was the the extent of the talk right there. How's it going? Good. All right, cool. What? Nothing. Oh, can I bother them? I guess not. Donate, book sale. Ooh, ice cream. Music festival, that's cool. I wonder if any of these are homages to um, other games that they're working on or they have worked on in the past. Oh, have you been having The Willamette Valley Dream Survey is investigating a recent spike in bizarre, unexplainable dreams. If you have been experiencing any unusual dream activity, you can help by reporting a summary. Please call with a description of hmm. Well, I would call that number if I could with my in-game phone, but... What else is around here? There we go. See, that's the kind of bag I was expecting to find in the uh, in the basement. All right, art, and what did he want? Oh, we didn't reply to Herman. Okay, he wants ranch dressing. Top of the list. Okay. Making sure. The ranch dressing. That first fish. Oh, safety hazard. You can see the floor is wet. There's no sign here. I mean, you can see the mop, but. <clears throat> I think it's like typical companies for practice to have some sort of warning sign. That ranch? That's ranch. Right? There we go. What else do you need? You need strawberry jelly. Alright. Is this strawberry jelly? I mean, from the checkered top, I would think it's jelly. It's red, so I'm guessing it's strawberry. Okay. What else? Taco spread for Alec. Taco spread. Oh, spread. Is this it? Ready? Looks like it has a chocolate bar. I'm guessing this is taco spread. Okay. Go. Oh. 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 There we go. Okay. What else? Milk and eggs. Okay. Now, eggs. The eggs at. Oh, here we go. There we are. What else? It garden pea. Garden. Uh... Oh, vegetables. Probably worth. Oh no, you're not going to sell individual. Sell tins of. Where are the tins at? There we go, garden pea. Okay. Alright, what else? Uh, get honey. Okay. Honey. 
think that's around aisle. Nice one. Is mustard. I think that's on. Got it. Uh, rice, Uncle Tony's only. I wonder what happens if you just try to, like, leave without paying. Hey, what are you doing? Get back here. Spicy rice and chicken. Oh, there it is, Uncle Tony's. Okay. Uh, ketchup. There we go. And then he said we can get something for ourselves. Um, well, first off, what happens if I just try to leave without paying? Hey, kid, fill that here. Why can't you bring that here? Exit. Uh, oh, it's not letting me leave. Uh, I'm forced to be responsible. Fine. All right. Now get something for ourselves. What do we want? Um, like a ready-made dish right there. Maybe that's sushi. Spicy rice and chicken. He's probably not gonna. Oh. Hmm. I don't remember buying anything Mr. Carson didn't ask for. What? But he said you can buy something for yourself. How about some soda? We can buy some soda, right? I mean, I would have, like, bought some candy or something. No candy. Oh, actually, there is candy. We can't select it. Can I play with this computer? I can't. The can of soda. I, I saw soda here earlier. There we go. Zap soda. All right. Got a six pack of soda for the weekend. Actually, should we get some? We should get some food too. That way we don't eat his food while we're out sitting. There we go. We'll ration that. All right, we're ready. Did I build this for you? I didn't get all the items at first. What do you mean I didn't get all the- I did get all the items. No, wait. What is he talking about? We got all- we got everything. Yeah, we bought everything. Here. Oh, I'm still missing some things from Mr. Carson's list. What are we missing? We literally went around, we, we picked up everything on the list. What is he talking about? All right, let's do this again. We need ranch dressing. There's the ranch. There's ranch on it. We need strawberry jelly. This, I'm guessing, is the strawberry jelly. We need choco spread. There's the choco spread. We need milk and eggs. So there's the milk. And there's the eggs. We need garden peas. 
There's the garden bees. We need honey. That's the honey. Uh, rice, Uncle Tony's only. That's Uncle Tony's rice. Uh, we need ketchup. There's the ketchup. And that's, I guess we're not going to buy ourselves anything. See what happens now. I was still missing some things from Mr. Carson's. What are we missing? What? What, are, what am I missing? Not everything. Unless that's not strawberry jelly, but I think it is. I don't know what I'm missing. Was something else included other than what's on the list? Darn you, Carson. That's everything. Unless, like, I'm supposed to get milk and eggs twice because he mentioned it twice? Alright, let's do that. Let's try that. More eggs. He really doesn't want us to forget the milk and eggs, so let's get two. Two of each. Alright. Wait. Choco spread is not cereal, right? It's like a literal spread. I think that's fine. All right. Oh my goodness. All right, you know what? Fine. That's how you want to play this? That's how we'll play this. I'm going to get one of everything in the store. How about that? You should have billed Mr. Carson for this. You can bill yourself, too. This is... Oh, what did it say? It's too heavy? What? I don't remember buying anything Mr. Carson didn't ask for. You know what? He tried buying everything he asked for, and it's not working. Now let's try and, and check out. I can't even see you. Oh my goodness. I made a mess of that place. Right. I just couldn't stop. <laughs> All right, now I'm ready to check out, sir. Hey kid, use a shopping basket. Try, try to use shopping basket. Quit it, kid. Uh. 
I'm gonna try this one item at a time. Ranch dressing. Strawberry jelly. I wish I could actually read the labels to a greater extent. Like, it's it's blurry. And it's like that because of the low-res graphics. Taco spread. It says spready. It has a chocolate bar on it. That's got to be it. Milk and eggs. That's milk. There's the eggs. That's the wrong milk. What do you mean the wrong milk? There's no other milk here, it just says milk. That's orange juice. That's apple juice. I think tuna? I don't know what that is. Soda. Go to the fridge? There's a fridge here? Oh, there is. Okay. We got juice. Oh. Okay, good eye, good eye. Oh. I wonder what would happen if I... juice, apple juice, that. Three kinds of apple juice. Okay, so we have Lyset fresh milk. We have malt. Huh. And the milk they have over here isn't in the cooler at all. This just says milk. Well, that could very well be what's going, uh, going wrong. Okay. Oh, I picked the wrong thing. I got mulk. Get that out of here. There we go. Okay. Got some fresh milk. Try this again. Ranch dressing. I'm starting to feel a little bad for this guy. He's got a lot of stuff to clean up. All right. Ranch. Strawberry jelly. Taco spread. Uh, milk and eggs. We got the milk. We just need the eggs now. Now, I was going to be helpful. I was going to pick up one of these caution signs and put it in the, the wet walkway, but I guess we can do that. Um, eggs. And garden peas. Mock is milk. I feel like mock is... I feel like that's actually a reference to um, a Simpsons episode. Um... Oh, garden peas. I was trying to remember. There we go. Uh, honey. Uncle Tony's rice. I think that's on an end cap. There it is. 
Uncle Tony. And ketchup. Okay. All right, let's go. I build it. I was still missing some things from Mr. Carson's list. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get Mulk. Joking. Malk is plant based milk. Go to the right. The right of what? These are like energy drinks. We have Malk. We have milk. And I don't know why he split this up. He has some up here, and he has some down there. I guess that's overflow. Of the cashier. Oh, to the right of the cashier? The shelf to his right, and grab some red thing next to the yellow. Go to the right of the cashier, the shelf to his right, and grab the red thing next to the yellow. Top left. The Choco spread? That is rice. And a watermelon. I kind of feel like I'm just wasting time, though. Like, as fun as this is. It's like I can't complete the objective. for the game where this happens. This part is easy. You don't know what you're missing. I don't know where. Have you played this? I'm willing to bet you're grabbing the wrong item. All right. Let's start over. I meant to throw the food out to be funny, but I didn't mean to throw the, the card out. <gasps> you can steal food that way. You can throw it out of the store, and then you can come around the other side and pick it up. I have free ranch dressing! All right. Well, we can go through it again. All right, so he wants ranch. It says ranch, right? Yes. He wants ranch dressing. 
So that says ranch on it. So we'll take one bottle of that. He wants strawberry jelly. So to me, this looks like strawberry jelly. Take one of those. He wants choco spread for Alex. I'm guessing this is the choco spread. It says spready and it has a chocolate bar on it. He wants milk and eggs. So let's go get the eggs. The only thing I could be messing up on is maybe the milk because there's three different kinds of milk. But if we tried this one the first time. It says milk something skimmed and that didn't work. Here are the, there's only one kind of egg, right? Yeah, there's only one kind of egg. Okay. Here are the eggs. So. Then we have malt. And then we have fresh milk. So there's three different kinds of milk. So we'll try this one again. The Lyset fresh milk. Then he wants garden peas. That's where the kids are talking. That's on the other side. Oh, we can walk through that part of the aisle. There they are. There's garden peas on the can. He wants honey. That's right around here. You can see it says honey on the container. Take one of those. It says rice, Uncle Tony's only. There it is, Uncle Tony's long grain rice. Take that. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's the Ello brand of rice. Um, and then he wants ketchup and that's it. So that says Gold's, you can get a better view of it. That's Gold's ketchup. Take one of those. We now have all items on the list. Oh, we're still missing some things from Mr. Carson's list. I don't know what I'm missing. I have no, unless the milk I have is wrong. That's the only thing I can think of. Grab chips or cereal for yourself. Oh. I mean, I'll try, but when I do that, he, he says, like, I didn't remember grabbing anything that wasn't on Mr. Carson's list. The Choco Cops. There. Take some cereal. I was still missing some things from Mr. Carson's list. It would be nice if, and I understand it would like maybe subtract from the realism of it, but it would be nice if every time I pick the correct item on the list, like, the character would be like a little blue check mark or something next to one of those items. That way, if we're not getting something correct, we'll know what we're not doing correct. But it's like, we, we have everything. And they're just not letting us... Unless, the only other thing I can think of is that maybe we need, like, a particular snack for ourselves that's not on his list. Holy moly's God's gift to cereal. That's funny. Um, and we're just not getting the correct item.
Grab the cereal with a Q. Take this other milk. I'll take some milk. There. I have one of every kind of milk. Oh my god. Yeah, I tossed it, and he still says the same thing. Hello, Marky Sor, how are you doing? Marky Sor says, hello. I like the lo-fi VCR graphics. What's this about? Or shopping at a 24-hour gas station? Toss the two milks and talk to him? All right. Welcome, Marcusor. How are you doing? This is a game where uh, a businessman working for a media company is going away for the weekend, and he reached out to our dad, who is a realtor, and I guess helped the guy uh, acquire the house. And we are an 18-year-old uh, young adult, and we are being paid a hundred dollars by the media person, called Mr. Carson, who owns the house. Uh, to house sit for him for the weekend. And so uh, we've already fixed his computer, that had a virus, uh, and now he uh, texts us a grocery list. He wants us to, to buy some stuff for him. He left us some money. Uh, and so we're just trying to buy everything on his grocery list and then head back home. But I'm, I'm picking up everything on the list, but it doesn't seem to be triggering. It seems like I'm miss, still missing something, and I don't know what I'm missing. You're quite, quite fine recently at the moment. Thanks. That's good, Mark. Sounds interesting. Was it kinky? No, nothing kinky in the game has happened. Or confusing thing. I get some chips. I get some. Chips. Take some chips. There we go. Some corn chips. What was that? That sound effect. Like something broke. Ah, welcome to our magic menagerie. I'm not sure what to call you. Oh. I should call you T50. That is the end of your name. Unless you correct me. But welcome to our magic menagerie, T57. Thank you for the follow. We are trying to figure out this part of the game. If you have played this before, please do offer me assist. Oh, accept it. Marcusor asks, you play and stream this on Steam Deck? Yes. I am playing and streaming this directly from the Steam Deck. So, we shall do this again. And if I'm doing... You're figuring it out, Fusion? Okay. Marcus says, looks good to me. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, we'll throw everything out while Fusion's looking into this for us. And, uh, yeah. If I'm getting anything that does not look correct, feel free to tell me. So... Here's the, the message here from Mr. Roy Carson. This is the person we're house-sitting for. And he says that he wants us to buy these groceries for him. He wants ranch dressing, strawberry jelly, taco spread for his son, Alec. Who I'm, Alec doesn't... He's not there. I don't know why he's not there. I don't know if he went traveling with Mr. Carson. Uh, Carson said he went away for work, but maybe the weekend, so the kid's not going to have school, so it could be. 
Um, milk and eggs, garden peas, honey, rice, Uncle Tony's only, ketchup, and then one more reminder, don't forget the milk and eggs. Like, all right, if I scroll up here, there we go. You can see that there's nothing above ranch, so that is the top of the list. All right, we have our, our basket here. Walk around. All these groceries in the floods, that's us. We've been littering the place. So that says ranch. Kind of hard to make out because of the, the VCR blur thing that's going on, which I can't turn off. But it uh, looks like it says ranch. So take one of those. All right, we need strawberry jelly. I'm guessing this is strawberry jelly. Some of the stuff I do have to guess on, so maybe that could be what's going on. But I mean, typically, jelly, at least here in the States, has uh, this sort of checkerboard pattern on it, and it's in a red container. I'm guessing this is strawberry jelly. We'll take that. We also need Choco Spread for Alec. You just says grab everything plus mustard. Huh, okay. So, this is called Spready. There's like a chocolate bar on the front. So, We'll take one of those. We need milk and eggs. So we'll go over here, the cooler. It says fly cop fresh milk. Take one of those. Walk over here to where the eggs are. There's a carton of eggs. We need garden peas. Around here. There we go. There's garden peas on the can. Take one of those. That's a big can of peas. We need honey. That's around here. There go. There's honey on it. A lot of honey. Rice. Uncle Tony's only. Go back this way. There we go. Uncle Tony's rice. Take one of those. Uh, ketchup. In this aisle here. There it is. Gold ketchup. And then... Fusion says, grab everything plus mustard. Okay? That's the mustard. Gold's mustard. There we go. Give it a try. Did I build this for you? I was still missing some things from Mr. Carson's list. Uh, that was it. We got everything on the list, but it's not letting us buy every... It's it, it's saying that we're missing stuff. So I don't know what I could be missing. The only thing that I thought maybe could be going on is there are three different kinds of milk. Oh, I stand corrected. There's four different kinds of milk. I just noticed that. There's a container here of coconut milk. And if you walk to the freezer area, there's fresh milk, Lyset fresh milk. Down here it says malk, which I think Fusion says is like a vegetable milk. And then if I go over here, this says uh, boar late milk something skimmed. So there's like four different milks. It should say Mr. Carson didn't leave enough money for you to buy anything extra. Can you drop the item and and check out? Yeah, I took the money.
Well, I don't know then. We have the items, and it won't say the prompt about not having enough money. All right, let me try this then. I'm going to try leaving the grocery store and see what happens. I couldn't just leave like that. I had groceries to buy. I tried buying the groceries. Ooh, kind of close. Can I take the bike in the store? Oh, I can. Nuisance, take the bike inside the store. Steam achievement. That's funny. Unless there's supposed to be like a special event that happens in the store that I don't know about. Like, is something spooky supposed to happen here? And until it happens, it won't allow me to like, buy the groceries? Maybe. Too heavy besides, I don't think Carson asked for it. What if I just try to pick up items without using a cart. Can I do that? There's the rice. Try grabbing the ranch dressing. Oh, I can't. I can only hold one item at a time. Let me try a different cart. <sighs> try it one more time. Ranch. Strawberry jelly. Taco spread. Milk and eggs.
Start in peas. Honey. Rice. And ketchup. Bikes are not allowed inside. I'm gonna have to ask you to take your bike outside. But But I had all the items. You know what? Oh, I can't do that. I am making such a mess of this guy's grocery store. I tried to be civil. I tried. But they're just, they're not selling me the items. Oh. Oh, this is kind of embarrassing to admit, but I didn't know how to ride a bike at the time. <laughs> but I tried again. I like that you don't just fall over on the bike and it's like, it's left to the player to figure out that they fell. Like he actually tells you like you messed up in riding the bike. Open. Okay, there we go, there we go. All right. I don't want to have to turn this around again. We're just going to park it right here on the street. There we go. Okay, all right. This again. Basket. I don't think I even have to look at the list. I have everything memorized by now. Taco spread. Strawberry jelly. Honey. Ketchup. Ranch. Milk. Rice. Eggs. Peas. The scariest part of this game is the groceries, I agree. This is the horror part. You can keep checking the list. I'm sorry, sir, but you don't have all the groceries. But I have everything on the list. I'm sorry, sir. You don't have all the groceries. No, this is a nightmare. I'm trapped here. I can't leave the grocery store. Someone help me. Yes, please. Thanks for shopping at Nuts. Have a good one. Oh, we got the cereal anyway. Look at that. It's in the bag. The only other thing I thought it could be, and maybe this is what it was. <laughs> that wasn't easy. store so I left a mess the only thing I thought that it might be is that some of the items weren't triggering 
Like, this is the rice that I was picking up every other time. But I picked it up from here at the end. When you look at the box, it's the exact same rice. It's Uncle Tony's Long Grain Rice, 10 minutes. And it's the same box as this one. Um, but maybe for some reason, these rice boxes don't trigger or count towards the total of what you're supposed to get on the list, but these do. That's the only thing I can think of. Alright, get out of here. I don't know how we're going to mount this onto the bicycle. Oh, okay. I kind of want to explore that little alley right there. But I don't want to spill all these groceries. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, why is there a sign here? Oh. Okay. All right, let's go back to the, the car snap. Ah. 9.46 p.m. That probably did take us about 20 minutes, realistically. All right, where's the house at? I had to pee again, and I was starting to feel a little hungry around that time. I mean, that's fine, but I, I really don't remember where the house is. Like, which house is it? I do know which house it is if I see a white car in the parking area. Is that it? Next to... House. But I'm also assuming the car didn't leave. Okay, whoop, whoop. That car looks different to me. I got the groceries. I had to take care of the house now. That's fine, that's cool, but which house is it? I don't know which house is the Carson house. I also know that there's, it's a two-story house, and there's light on, is this it? This might be it. I think this is it. A ton of lights are on. Park the bike at the garage. This isn't it. We'll just deliver some free groceries to somebody. Okay, I guess this is. Down the bag of groceries. I kept groceries in the kitchen. Thought I'd get some schoolwork done now. What? No, no. We have to. Well. First, I really need to use the restroom, because that's what he said. Then I'm going to come back and put the groceries away. Got eggs and, and milk in there. That would spoil if we just leave it out. And then we can try to work on our school. Okay. 
ね。Oh, oh, I'm so. Oh no. Oh, it's going. Mr. Carson wasn't going to like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Carson. I, I couldn't control myself. Flushed a little bit. That did go down the uh, toilet. Okay, let's go back to the uh, kitchen and put the groceries away. I can't put the groceries away. Like I said, I had to get my schoolwork for Monday, but you said you were hungry too, though. Can I pull anything out of here to eat? See if I can... I mean, that's some spread, but there's no bread. I guess you could just eat bread out of this. Oops. Can I put it back? I cannot put it back. Oh, no. Alright, I tried. I made the effort to eat something. He's not eating anything. Just really wants to get his work done, his full work. Alright. I guess let's go back upstairs to Mr. Carson's office. That's where it appears that we like to do our schoolwork. I think that's where we left our math book. And that was... Okay. Notice also how it's the room that's sort of peeled off from the rest of the house. Though it's like... Oh, it's raining again. So we're probably going to see someone, like, through the security camera, slowly coming uh, through the house to try to get us. And it's like... Typically, we get... I don't think we've ever gotten a good ending in one of these games. We always get caught. I'm never really sure what to do. Andy Reynolds? Who's that? Five text men. Dude, you said you're at Carson's, right? Oh, Andy, that's the guy we talked to in the, uh, the kid we talked to in the grocery store. Let's see this. Search of Roy Carson divorce on the internet. Oh, we never text Evelyn back. What's this, though? No, I guess we can get... Well, we could just focus on our schoolwork. We can do some searching. I guess let's do some... Uh, internet browser. Search. And I actually have to use the keyboard to type this in. That's pretty cool. Roy... Arson. Divorce. Like, that's not something you'd ever do on a console game. It's a small thing, but it's a cool thing. Search. Roy Carson, co-founder of BN, claims to be receiving death from the angry fans of... Oh, that's what's going to happen to us? Co-founder of BN Media has been allegedly... Death threats after the very public divorce of actress wife Alyssa Brown Carson. No. Whoa. They put pictures of real people. Uh, Hunter News. It's not usual for audience be nosy about some of the celebrity's personal matters, but sometimes just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO and co-founder of e and Me, after his very public breakup at course with his wife, 
former actress Alyssa Brown Carson has allegedly been receiving death threats from fans of Alyssa Brown for the rumored infidelity that underwent within that relationship. And it has a picture of his house. That's great. Sources say Roy Carson has been has had people knocking on his door to confront him. Alyssa hasn't been very vocal about the situation yet, but Hunter News is actively trying to reach out to her. What was at the front door. Front. Um, so you, reader, stays updated about the situation. Drive to Hunter News to stay updated. It is news and. Security cameras. These are the groceries. No doggy sleeping in his bed. Press house. Some dudes outside with a duffel bag. Ah, Indy's here. Your lurking isn't playing? No, oh, thank you for the lurk, Indy. I wonder if we just stay here and watch him if he'll eventually get tired and leave. Oh, maybe. Like, he raised his hand to ring the doorbell, and he's like, eh, eh. Nope, I guess he's not going to stop. All right, let's go to the front door, see what he wants. I never got to do my schoolwork. Sir, I didn't order any pizza. Your one medium sized pepperoni pizza, sir. Now you must be at the wrong address. This is 224 Boulevard, right? I don't, I, okay, I guess it is. That's correct. It's ordered by the name of. Um. Boy Carson? And that's nice, but I'm not going to open it. He didn't text me to say he was sending pizza. Please open the door, sir. have a car like running though. like that adds credibility to it. if there was no car there or the car was parked in my driveway instead of like out in the street that would be super sus the fact that he actually just left his car running like in the road that makes it really seem like elements about games like this in the Fierce to Fathom series is like I would always do like different things. And 
and I don't feel like this is a situation where it's like hindsight is 2020 kind of thing, like, oh yeah, if I were in that situation at that time, I would have done this, but like, no, it's like it's common sense stuff sometimes that you're not able to do. Like, why can we not just send Mr. Carson a text saying, hey, did you, did you order us a pizza? And the wait for his response. Like, that's definitely something we could have, like, done. But for some reason, we're just not doing it. Now that we know that we're being potentially intruded upon, when I was at the front door, I couldn't have worked like that. But we already told them. I don't know. I don't know what to do. We were instructed not to open the door for anyone. Those were our instructions. We were not given a text message by Mr. Carson saying that pizza had been ordered for us. We already told the guy that he's at the wrong address. The game will not let us come over here and just focus on, like, it looks like, it looks like there's a delivery sign there mounted on top of the car. The game will not allow us to ignore the guy and just get back to working. So, go see what he wants. Open and yoink the pizza. Just open and yoink it from his hands. But he's probably going to want to get paid, though. Like, he didn't say it was paid for. He just said it was ordered. Are you there, sir? Do you want me to cancel the order? Leave. All right, open. It was kind of creepy that he wasn't standing right in front of the door. Unless this is like the last delivery of the evening, which it could be. I mean, it's almost 10 o'clock at night. Then, uh, your job's probably going to want to want you to get back. I thought I could watch some TV while eating. Oh. This makes me think that the pizza's going to be drugged.
that's creepy. Dukes. Oh, great. Nice watching that. Spooky shit. Um. Oh, there's Mr. Carson's text. Look, check out for some pizzas. It should arrive in any minute. Work? In it now. Enjoy. You'll have to spend the night in the dungeon if you don't. If you tell me what the radius of two squared is. But he did order us the pizza. That makes me feel better. My name is Jack Barnett. I have been held hostage by Mr. Holland for 37 days. He makes me solve math work until my head hurts. I can't escape. Where did the pizza go? Can I use the bathroom? Oh, am I not supposed to eat here? Is there like another room I'm supposed to eat the pizza in while watching TV? That could be what it is. So you have a TV in his kitchen, in his dining area. Be in here. Cool. I don't know what you're asking me to do here. There was a scene like this in um, in the first game we played in the Fears to Fathom series, Home Alone, where we had to like warm up some lasagna and then we ate it while watching TV. And it was pretty pretty easy. We just oh maybe we have to hold on to the pizza. Come on, with me. Come on with me. There we go. That's what it was. We weren't supposed to put it down first. Pizza was nice and hot. Fight the rain. You can eat the whole pizza? I think it's the same thing with the lasagna. I think with the lasagna we ate like half of it. And I think we put it in the fridge. I think it was actually an achievement we missed for eating the whole lasagna. Everything's okay. Fine. And I would have like eaten the pizza while doing homework, not watching TV. on the couch with it. It, is, it seems that I heard someone at the door again. My territory. I will have to break the fabric well, they're going to have to wait. I mean, now. Bye bye. See you later. I only got two slices left. Okay. knock at the door. Who is it? Try to throw the pizza box away. Hopefully, no one is going to try anything mischievous. Or Alright, well, they had 
our pizza, watch some TV, and goofing off. I guess he really doesn't want to do calculus. So can I see one outside the window here? Have movement. Security cams lighting up. There they go. Walking around the side. I like how it remembers that we left a bottle of that stuff on the floor. Our glass break. There's something out there on the carpet. I don't know what that is, though. Dog's still okay. There's definitely something outside on the carpet out front door. Looks like they walked out and around the side of the house. Alright, I guess let's go back downstairs, open the front door, and see what's on the carpet. What happens if I try to do homework? There was something at the door. I had to go and check. I wonder what would have happened had I not, like, looked at the security camps. So they just sat down and tried to do homework. I wonder if it would have let me do the homework. woman dropping off the flowers.
I guess let's go back upstairs. That's right, the guy's studio. Maybe he does vlogs in it. Unknown sender. Hey, how are you? What did you have? Let you type it doesn't let you reply that would have been a cool feature if you could actually like talk to people that way well, i assumed it was a wrong number it was strange but i dismissed the thought as a weird coincidence and moved on besides i had a lot of work to catch up on Protecting anyone. Dog is still okay. I hope nothing bad happens to the dog. Engrossment. Getting engrossed in our homework. though. 1.36 in the morning. While I was in the middle of my schoolwork, the power went off. Really? I would have thought that, like, he would have passed out doing his homework. That's some discipline right there. 1.36 in the morning. Doing calculus homework? Wow. Why do you keep ignoring me? You're always so mean. Or being very immature, right? Maybe this is his ex. They said the girl he broke. Fine. If you're gonna be like that, I don't need you anyway. God is so much hotter, right? Who are you? Like, we can kind of piece this together. We had that conversation in the first room. I guess that's he deleted her number. Once they broke up. Oh, maybe that was her. Maybe she left flowers for him. Maybe she misses it. In that moment, I was almost certain that it had to be another prank by Turner. I just knew guys like him very well. Besides him and Andy were the only people who knew I was house-sitting alone. Power was out. I couldn't continue with my schoolwork like that. Oh, I guess he has battery backup on his computer system. 
Hi, welcome to our magic menagerie. You, Pepe, it's the father. Pepe, how are you doing? All right, I entered this, or Ratika typed this in for me earlier. It was the password to get into the computer system, which we were texted by, there it is, by Mr. Carson, but like, I couldn't remember it, so he could type it in chat for me. A, Ale, Carson, 537. Oh, and he has a dynamic screensaver. I, that wasn't always that color, was it? Pink clouds? groceries away. No one in the basement. No one in, I think that's the son's bedroom. How would you have a camp? No one in the upstairs hallway. Oh, doggo's gone. Oh, that goes okay. Not raining them. Using the bathroom. Oh, we just saw someone walk away from the front of the house. Walking towards the garage. And creepies here. Woo. Mm -hmm. How are you doing, creepy? We don't have a camera out near the garage. Well, Creepy, this is a game about Oh, maybe we're supposed to check on Doggo But this is supposed to be a game about um, We are house-sitting for the weekend uh, For a man named Mr. Carson is the COO of a media company. Uh, seems he had a nasty breakup, a very public divorce to an actress, and he's been getting uh, uh, harass uh, harassers coming to his house to confront him. So that could be what's going on. Um, it seems that we, the 18-year-old kid who was uh, paid somebody to house sit for the weekend, um, We've also just broken up with someone, and uh, we were getting some text messages from a girl earlier that seems like she was our ex, and um, she was not happy about us. So I'm not really sure what's going on. We're doing some homework. All of a sudden, the power went out, um, and I guess we're we'll trying to figure out how to turn the power back on, maybe. He has redeemed hydrate. Maybe. Here. The last of my break. And creepy has also redeemed. Hello, I'm you. Well, welcome to creepy. Too. Yeah. 
All right, I'm guessing this screen is a is a clue that we have to go check on the dog. Well, let's go to the front of the house, open the door, see what's going on, and then we'll also uh, go check on Doggo. We can hear the dog barking. Oh, barks though. Um, we can probably get that flashlight again that was in the upstairs. storage area. I don't remember where that was. I can't see a thing. I wish, like, our eyes would adjust. I am totally in the dark here. It'd be nice if we could use our phone as a flashlight. Can I bring the menu back up? Go oh, into options. Oh, I guess we made it around the corner. There's a car parked over there. Oh, this is the master bedroom. Right? Storage area. Closet, right? Like. I think it was up here on the left. Yeah, here we go. Oh, the flashlight was right here. Not here anymore. I never got rid of the flashlight. I took it with me on the bicycle, and then it just disappeared. We can tell that power's not out for the whole block, though, because that light is on. No flashlight? No flashlight. Flashlight. False. Or can I get ready for work? All right. Yeah, maybe it has to do with the, the fact the game remembers where certain items are. Like, the game remembers where you put the grocery bag and exactly how it's positioned and, um... Maybe if I had, like, put the flashlight down before I left the house on the bike, we could come back and pick it up from where we left it. But since I took the flashlight with me to go to the grocery store, and uh, the flashlight was taken out of my, my hands while riding the bike, uh, I guess that it no longer exists in the game. Unless the game considers me as having left a flashlight in the office. I'm going to have to walk backwards using the light sources so I can see. Oh, 
direct myself through the house. Flashlight here, where? Flashlight for us. Okay. Backwards again. Stairs. Walk towards the barking. Else that's coming from that direction. Yeah, I would call the police at this point. Suspected intruder, not intruder. Suspected trespass. It was suddenly very cold outside. I turn the power back on. I can tell that someone had cut the power off from outside. that he was usually what? I didn't see what that said, I was very stuck. It was acting very weird. Are still here? Flowers are still here. Said we'd stay friends. 
Turner, this is funny. Oh, he's here. He sounds like his ex-girlfriend. I had to go back to my schoolwork for Monday. He is very dedicated. Like, I'm assuming this is Friday now. And it's 1.36 in the morning. Some time has passed since the power went out. And maybe it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. He's at 2 o'clock in the morning. He should be trying to get some sleep. Wake up, do it tomorrow. Let's check security cams again. Oh, we have movement. New movement. Nothing. 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 Either I'm missing what I'm supposed to be seeing, or maybe there is someone in here, like in the house, but they're actively like walking through the house. And so by the time I toggle to new camera, they've already left the room. No movement going on anymore. I guess they left before I could see him. Oh, back to homework. Engrossment back in our study. I wonder if they're going to shut the power off again. I had a strange gut feeling about the situation. It might sound stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink Engrossment. Here's squeaking. I heard something downstairs. Movement. I could swear on my life I didn't turn that oven on. The door is open? What door? The back to recording room? I don't see the door open. Unless it's closed again. Like maybe it was open. It's open? Oh, I see. I was looking at the other door, like the door that's in the distance. You're talking about the door directly beneath the camera. I got you, I got you. I don't think they're here. If they were here and they're trying to blow the place up by turning on gas and then turning on the oven and walking away, I mean, they wouldn't still be here in the house.
That is weird, though. That just seems like you're wasting energy. I'm gonna turn on the oven. That's not really. At least I don't think that it would do. Much. It? I'd just like heat the house. Only if you put something like an incendiary in the oven, bad stuff really happens. Or if there was something for the oven. Literally right in front of the cam. I heard something downstairs. I had to go and look. Oh. I had to go down and check. He's making me do this. I don't want to do this. Now I would not phone for potential trespassing. I would phone, you know, but I would phone for potential, potential intruder. I guess we're checking the oven. Low key, it made me very uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. I had to confront him. Are you serious? I didn't have his contact. I could only ask Andy. Oh, he still thinks Andy is messing with him. Can you send me Turner's contact? Ask him to quit messaging. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Dude, he's at my place right now. We were gonna go to the movies with Brady, but then it started pouring, so we stuck with the sleepover. attributed all of that to the lack of my sleep. Wow. I was aware I have a tendency of being overly paranoid. The only logical thing I could think of at the time was to keep an eye on the security monitor. You should have phoned the cops. Now that I think about it, I should have called the cops. The idea never even entered my head. Like the game's hearing me. Call the cop. in the basement. I wouldn't expect to see nothing was flagged. I didn't say it was detecting anything. And yeah, I'm not going to go in there. I'm trying to keep the character alive. Oh, the door's open. That's the door by the kitchen. Beep. 
dude, wait, did you check out that article? It was Brady who told me about it. Well, this is real sketchy. Who's Brady? Turn the TV on. I felt my heart skip a beat. I froze and kept staring at the screen in pure horror. Notice that. It was right outside the door to the room I was in. Are you in there? I really missed you. Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. Don't play dumb with me. Well, uh, I know you're in there. Open the door. Just need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. This is his ex. I've always been nothing but... But you always treated me like... I mean, this, this statement here, you need help, is definitely true, but that might just antagonize. I gotta say something. I know everything. I know you left me there. This is exactly why. That would really upset her. Eating with knife. Yeah, at first I didn't know. I didn't see the knife at first. I thought, what? Like, who is that? At least she is not a like you. Ooh. Last one, it's a different. Thing. But I love you. Not that. You need to leave right now. Deserve a second shot. I can just go into the police Do it and people kill both of you. We need to call the cops, guy. I can't have you. No way. I feel like I can't do anything here anyway. It's like I have. No way. I'm not sure what I was supposed to do there. Maybe go to the door. Maybe I would have gotten a prompt to talk to her some more. I don't know. But there was nowhere to hide. There was no closets in the room. I mean, the most we could have done was hide under the desk, but that would have literally been the only place to hide and she would have found it. There were no weapons in the room. The 
only option was to call the cops, which, I mean, I think the door was locked, or unlocked. I don't know. You have to hide in the laundry room, but she was, like, literally standing right outside the door. Unless, when we saw her walk up the stairs, at that moment, we were supposed to get up, close the door to the office, and then hide in the laundry room. Then that might have worked. Your mic also alerts her. Really? She can, like, hear me talk? Yep. That is so cool. That's some... That's some next-level stuff right there. Oh, I like that. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool. So I guess if you're if you're streaming and you're talking to stream chat, she's always gonna find you. <laughs> but that is really neat. I'm wrong. Okay. Oh boy. That was pretty wild. Yeah, we're not gonna play it again. That was a one shot. Um we've never gotten a good ending in any of these games, but they've always been fun. And uh they're getting spookier and spookier and I like that. Like, I have to hand it to the to the creators of the Fears to Fathom series. Like these are good stories. Um the uh the games do scare you and you can definitely tell they're low budget games but they're also sold for low budget prices i think these games are sold for between like they're sold for like five or six bucks and they're definitely worth it uh, you, you pay more than that to go to a movie for an hour and a half so this is a this is a pretty good experience that's going to be it from us tonight for Fears to Fathom. Uh, next Saturday, we'll be playing through the Resident or Remake Chainsaw demo. So we played through the RE demo uh, last weekend. Just continuing the trend, bouncing back and forth between, at least for now, between installments, Resident series, other things. So we'll see. After the RE4 demo, we might spiral into some other stuff but um yeah it's uh, a pretty good spooky game i like this and uh, we'll definitely be picking up the next episode that comes out i think it comes out in november iron bark lookout so already wishlisted um be playing it when it drops Fusion says you're supposed to hide in the laundry room, wait it out, and Andy sends a text that leads her to you, but you gotta exit the room and go down the stairs and you escape. You're supposed to wait until she is in the study, and then that's when you make the escape. Oh, that's pretty cool. Thank you for that, Fusion. Yeah, I do like to know the good ending uh, for these kinds of games, but uh, pretty neat. You're surprised I made it that far? Me too. I could have died two or three times prior to that. I wonder how. I guess when she first drops off the flowers, if instead of like looking through the security cam, if I would have like walked out the door, then maybe she would have still been there and I could have caught up to her and then she would have confronted me. And then maybe again when she went into the, the house, into the recording studio. Maybe I could have wandered in there and just would have bumped into her. Once when the power went out, 
she's hiding on the side of the garage. And when you turn the oven off, she comes up behind you. Hmm. I wonder why she didn't come up behind me when I turned the oven off. Maybe it's because of how I got to, into the kitchen. Like maybe if I would have gone, that's probably what it was. Because I never saw the open door until I looked through the security camera. So I guess if I would have like walked through the area where the door was open in the kitchen, and then she would have like walked up behind me. She would have seen me walk through it or walk by. I took a, uh, a different route. Or if I would have tried to break run as soon as I saw her. Cool. I can also tell you if you would have went into the recording room when the door was open. This is a really well thought out game. Very, very well done. We yeah, have big props to Rail, big props to the game's developers. Um, for a low cost of entry, this is a really good spooky experience. I have played games uh, with better graphics, and I don't mean that in a bad way, uh, that cost me more money to acquire and they were not anywhere near this spooky and they were meant to be horror games so really really good job i'm looking forward to episode four in the future and we're going to go ahead and call it here uh the next time i'll be streaming will be uh this Monday for Monday Marvels, we shall be continuing with Oratiga's Point Redemption, the game The Last Guardian. I don't know if we're going to beat it this coming Monday. I don't know how far into the game we are or how much we have left, uh, but we're definitely going to make some more progress. And like I said, the next game we'll be streaming for Spooky Sound will be the RE4 remake demo. So perhaps I'll see you next Saturday for some more Monday. Uh, for some beautiful either way safe good rest of your weekend lock doors don't have a this happened to bus and cars and have and uh, I will see you so I'll be transferring this to the YouTube channel uh, in about have a good night, everyone. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you to Fusion, and thank you to Pika, thank you to Brandon, thank you to Creepy, thank you to uh, all the Lurkers, uh, thank you to Albatrax, who was here briefly, thank you to Markisaur, thank you to J-Dog, thank you to everyone else who was here and kept me company through this scary time. Yeah, uh, hope to see you all again very soon.